Hey, throw this like you're pissed off, will you? Stick that thing in there, right? Good ball. That's better. Whatever that was, just do that every time. No, no, Nico, Nico, you've got to run. you got to run off. Yeah, I don't want him blocked. Run it again. The players of Cherry Creek High School listen to Dave Logan. Now, hey. For a few reasons. First and foremost, he's their coach. And he cares about more than just football. Throw him and go. No matter how much you love football or basketball or baseball, if you don't take care of your academics, you're not going to play. You're doing better in grades, bud. Hey, ooh. Doing, doing better. Proud of you. He makes sure that we're respectful to our teachers. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. You never question anything he says. You know, you just listen to it and you take it. Four games, we've had two turnovers. That's how you put yourself in positions to win. He's your coach, so you're going to respect him. But he played the game. Hey. In Logan's case, he played many games. You listen to a coach when he's one of only three players ever drafted by the NFL, the NBA, and Major League Baseball. Former Chiefs tight end Mickey McCarty and Yankee Hall of Famer Dave Winfield are the other two. He was drafted out of high school by the Cincinnati Reds. But at that time, if you signed a pro baseball contract, it did not mean you could take a scholarship to be a football player in college. You're done. Just because of the rules, I knew that I wasn't going to forego going to college and playing sports in college and getting a college education as well. And so I knew then that I wasn't going to sign that deal with Cincinnati, and so I played two sports in college. Coming out of the University of Colorado, Logan was drafted by the Kansas City Kings in basketball and the Cleveland Browns in football. When your coach was an All-American in Playboy magazine, you listen. Growing up in Colorado, you hear Coach Logan's name, and if you're around football, then you, then you hear it a lot. Logan chose to sign with the Browns and played nearly a decade in the NFL. Side throwing to Logan. He got it on the 20! Cleveland had Dave Logan at wide receiver. With his long reach and supple hands, at 6'5", Logan was like King Kong among cornerbacks. When your coach was one of Cleveland's cardiac kids and on the cover of Sports Illustrated, you listen. We've been in so many close games, in so many tight fits at the end of the game that it's just expected that somebody is going to make a big play to get the job done. We just sort of developed a knack of finding ways late in a game to make enough plays to win. Sight throws it to Logan. Got it for the touchdown in the corner. I don't know how he caught the ball. Unbelievable catch. Logan never got a ring as a cardiac kid. But now that he's coaching kids, he's won it all seven times. How about Dave Logan guiding four different high schools to state championships in the state of Colorado? When your coach has that kind of resume, you listen. To do that at four different schools, and do it the way he's done it with a lot of class. It's more about this whole team. That's unheard of. I only got two, so he got seven. So, yeah, it's as good as it gets. Logan's Browns lost in the 1980 playoffs when Brian Sipe threw an interception on a play known as Red Right 88. Now let's talk about Red Right 88. I have no memory. I have no memory of Red Right 88. I've erased that completely from my memory bank. But Logan has remembered to make turnovers a point of emphasis in his coaching. Ball security. Always talk about that. Not afraid to talk about it because I think it's important. Hey, same thing now, right? Ball security, right? Limit your MAs. Let's get this thing going early tonight. Players will hear your message when they know it's your passion, not just a profession. Logan donates his entire coaching salary to his assistants. He doesn't take anything, and it's not because he's a millionaire, obviously, but he just understands that we work a lot, probably, for not a lot of money. Well, I think that's why he's been able to be successful as he has. Is, you know, he cares about everybody. You know, he cares about his coaches, he cares about his players. Games like this show why Logan preaches ball security. His Cherry Creek Bruins committed six turnovers 
but managed to get the game to overtime. As poorly as we've played, we got a chance to win this game. Lock in on what's important, and that's finding a way to win in overtime. We can do this. All right, you hear me say that? We can do this. Touchdown, Cherry Creek! Wow! I'm happy that we hung in there. I'm happy we found a way to win. But we can't turn the ball over like we did against good teams, and that's a good team. That's how Dave Logan spends his Friday nights. On Sundays, kids from Colorado are still tuned in to what he has to say. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Sports Authority Field at Mile High as we are getting set for a battle between the Minnesota Vikings and the Denver Broncos. Vikings. When your coach is the voice of the Denver Broncos, you listen. Deep drop by Bridgewater. Bridgewater cannot pull away, and he's going to be sacked by Sylvester Williams. My first two years as full-time play-by-play man for the Broncos, they went to the Super Bowl and won. One play to the championship. Far pass is going to be incomplete. Denver Halls. Oh, baby, they're going to win this thing. Will this be John Elway's last game ever at Mile High Stadium? We think so. We hope not. <laughs> Elway now is going to leave the game. Both arms extended in the air. And if it's not his last game, it sure seems like it. He's so passionate and so animated about it, and he sounds like he's about to cry. Four-man rush, Orton throws, pass is gonna be tipped, and caught, Stumpy's got it! Here we go, 40, Toby House! Holy cow! My favorite will always be when Tebow threw that skinny post to beat Pittsburgh, and, and the excitement. Tim play fakes in the pocket, sets, throws, pass, caught, Demarius Thomas, out over the 45 midfield, here we go, 40, 35, foot race, 20, touchdown, Denver, it's over, it's over in Denver. Peyton Manning now has more touchdown passes than any other player in NFL history. I've been blessed that I've been the play-by-play -play broadcaster for a team that's always pretty good. Denver protecting a three-point lead, looking for their fourth consecutive victory to start this 2015 season. The crowd on their feet, urging the Bronco defense. Five-man rush, here comes T.J. Ward. Ward has him, strips the football. The ball is free. The Broncos have it. The first turnover created today by this Denver defense. And it is over here in Denver. With two victories, it was a good weekend for Dave Logan, the commentator, and Dave Logan, the coach. If you ask me, I feel like we're his priority. And uh, it's almost like he doesn't do anything else but coach our team. Whether Logan is looking to call his third Super Bowl win or coach his eighth state championship, you can bet most of Colorado will be listening. I'm blessed that I've been offered so many opportunities. I can coach high school football and stay employed. You look back on what you've accomplished and sometimes you say, wow, did I really do that? I'm a big believer. You sort of appreciate what you have every single day. So I'm good. I've been blessed in many, many ways.